Hi everyone and welcome to this video and if you're new, welcome to my channel. I know my hair looks like a mess but I'm filming a couple of videos and today we are going to review another foundation and today I'm going to review Dermacol Film Studio Bar Barandov Pragu Film Studio Makeup Cover. So Dermacol Film Studio Makeup Cover. This is a foundation that most people rave, up, rave about and uh, they say that this is full coverage. It's a very heavy con uh, concealer foundation. It finally came available in Sweden and I'm very excited to try it out. I have two shades, 210 and 221. I bought two shades because they are the only one when I read on their website was with a neutral undertone. And 210 is a little bit too light and 221 is a little bit too dark for my skin. But I'm going to mix them and see what kind of coverage we can create. This is this says hypoallergenic waterproof foundation with SPF 30 provides perfect coverage for all skin imperfections, even in a thin layer. It's perfect corrector for dark under eye circles, unpleasant spots and skin blemishes. It may be used on the entire face in order to darken or light up the skin and ensuring ideal color balance for professional makeup, photo and film shoots, festival occasions. Use applying in a very small, quiet and spread uh, evenly. Spread evenly. So I'm going to zoom you in just a little bit more. Me and my best friend here, we have a couple of other friends that arrived just to be here in this video to try this foundation. So let's scoop you in and start applying. So I already prepped my face with Prep and Prime Lancome conce Concealer. It's wrong with me. Primer that I really, really like and enjoy. So let's start. Open these. I did swatch them yesterday when they arrived. Oh, I'm so excited, guys. And uh, I've seen, I think, Raw Christy Beauty really liking this foundation and I really want to try. This is the real one. There are a couple of fakes around there on web different websites, but this is the real thing. And uh, I don't know how I'm, I'm supposed to do this. I think I'm going to try to mix them on my hand. So it's very thick and then I'm going to dot it everywhere. So that is how I'm going to do. I'm going to try it with Beauty Blender and try it with the brush. So I'm going to mix the light and the darker one. It's a too much foundation. I know it's too much, but I haven't used this before. And I want to create my own shade. Oh, this is so thick, guys. It's so thick. But it's blending nice together. So I'm going to dot, 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 dot. This is maybe too much. This is maybe too much. We don't know how much to apply. So, okay, let's use a brush. Where is the brush? Where is the brush? Where did I left the brush? There is the brush. This is thick. And the coverage is, oh my God. Well, this is more than enough. <laughs> more than enough of the foundation. Actually, I'm not going to have any concealer, guys, because I want to see. If, uh, it's a little bit too light right now. I maybe mix too much of the lighter shade, but who cares? Too light, too dark. Who cares? Full coverage foundation. Oh, my God. And it blended very nice, very easy all over my skin. A little bit light. So let's go in with the beauty sponge. Oh no, I just dabbed a little bit more of this. Beauty sponge. Let's cover my best friend and his buddies. It's not bad with the sponge either. Took a little bit more just to cover around here. I maybe mixed a little bit too much of that light, lighter shade. But this is like paint, guys. I'm spraying it down my neck and this is like paint. This is more than enough. Oh my God, this is full coverage. 
Let me zoom you in so you see. I'm going to use a little bit of this light up brightening cushion concealer from Isadora just to light it up a little bit. This has no coverage, it's just going to make my under eyes a little bit more bright. So I'm going to set everything with my Huda Beauty powder that I really like and enjoy. And uh, yeah, I'm going to bake just a little bit under my eyes, like I always do, to see if this is going to be different than my other foundations. So guys, uh, this is the finished look with everything. Now it's around two o'clock and I've been having this foundation for a, one hour right now. I'll be finishing this makeup look that I just filmed and I was talking on the phone and giving my son some lunch. So uh, this looks full coverage. It looks like I have makeup, but also not. Now I did mix these shades a little bit too much, so it's a little bit too light. If you can see down here, I could definitely make it a little bit darker. But I really like how this looks. I mean, it doesn't look cakey, it doesn't look heavy. I can't feel it on my skin. And uh, yeah, I'm interested to see how it's going to work the whole day, how it's going to look after a couple of hours. So let me just swatch the shades because I remember that I forgot to do that in, in the beginning. So let me swatch them. Uh, I can swatch it. This is number, which is this, 210, the lighter one. And I can swatch it down here also so you can see. Can you see it? And let me, sorry. So let me swatch the other one, 221. I could probably use this, it, this by itself. Let me swatch it down here. I don't know if you can see it. So they are both neutral undertones. The other shades had more pink or more yellow undertone and that is why I didn't buy them because I have neutral skin tone. So like you see, I could definitely use the dark one by itself. Let me try to like blend it in, not bad. So this is how the shades look, 210, 221. Uh, 221 would be perfect, but you know how I am. I like to mix things up. I only use that for my uh, under eyes and uh, it looks nice. For some reason, I don't know if that's Isadora the brightening thing. It made my under eyes look a little bit yellow. Hmm, it started settling in my uh, on around my nose, around my nose. So I don't know. Uh, interesting. I really love the finish of this makeup look. It looks so nice and flawless. Definitely something to have when you go on uh, special occasions and you know you're going to have your foundation on for a long time. I think that's what I heard. It looks like that. It looks very nice and. Uh, I don't know, like for red carpet <laughs> makeup look, foundation. But I will continue wearing it and I'll be back in a couple of hours to give you my thoughts. So it's around two o'clock right now. And I, like I said, I have been having this for an hour. And yeah, I'll be back to, in the end of the day, to tell you what I think about it. So see you soon. Hi everyone and welcome back. It's 9 30 right now and I've been having this foundation for around eight hours eight nine hours and this is how it looks I didn't touch up I did touch my face a lot today because my face was not itching but I don't know my nose was itching and uh, I've been holding my face but I wasn't patting and powdering or anything this is how it looks it looks shiny but not bad not bad I am not mad at it so it looks like I do have foundation on. Let's just clear that out. Uh, there is, it starts fading here on this pimple over here and just a little bit down here. This BFF of mine is still covered and feeling good, but uh, everything looks okay. Let's just start to, it didn't settle into my fine lines either. 
So let's pair this and try to take a better look. Transferred a lot. Well, um, now I don't look shiny anymore. And I can see where I'm touching my nose a lot, where I was touching a lot here around my nose. I think I have a breakout here that was itching a lot right now. And here on my nose too, it start, uh, it did remove my makeup, of course. But everything else looks good. Is it my favorite foundation? No, I would definitely wear it. It's not bad at all. I do like it. And this will last me forever. So I'm stuck. I do have a lot of foundations right now to the rest of my life. So I don't need any more new, but uh, I'm not mad. I like it. I think it's a good foundation. It's worth the money. I would definitely wear it again. Maybe apply it a little bit less and maybe don't apply the light shade that much as I did because I do look a little bit more pale than I would like it to. But otherwise, otherwise I do like this foundation. I give it a thumbs up. I think it looks good. And uh, yeah, guys, give a thumbs up if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. So you know every time I upload and I hope I see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.